This task is aimed mainly at um, revising how to print, how to conca concatenate, and some string concepts. As uh, this is a Mad Libs generator, which basically means it is a library which can generate words. This is inspired by Summerson's Madlib project, which he did in JavaScript. So the basic idea is simple. It will ask a user for some input, and then it will choose from some pre-made input, and it will print out a sentence. It will print out a crazy sentence, which is why it's called a Mad Library or Mad Libs generator. I will not be elaborating into the algorithm of this because there is nothing to understand except how in the English language is formed. So it is basically an adjective which is not always required. Uh, the ones that are in the brackets are not, are not required to form a sentence, but we will be using this. But the main thing is it has a subject, verb, object formation, and before the subject or object it can have an adjective and after the verb it can have a preposition this is the syntax that we will be following and now let's go directly to the code <clears throat> here we are importing random because we want to include some randomness in this we are inputting our name a random name we're inputting your un a name we're inputting a place and we're inputting an adjective. Inputting here means we are asking for uh, for the user to key it in from the keyboard and we are saving it in these variables which are random name, your name, place, and adjective. In the me uh, at in the meantime, we have some built, uh, we have some pre-made or defined constant of uh, instances of adjectives, which is crazy, nice, lovely, gross. You can see that we are using a list here, and we input and we and we used these. Uh, and we're using a list here, and we have initialized the adjective list with crazy, nice, lovely, and gross. Similarly, for verb and prepositions, you can use whatever you want. And now we this is how, this is the main thing we are going to print. As you can see, first of all, we have used an a random adjective or a, we have used a random adjective from this list. In the previous video, we used with. Um, we show we showed how to do random uh, we showed how to use rand int to find values from an integer uh, sorry from an array and now here we're using another one which is choice here we don't need to specify the range of the array or anything we can just use choice and it will choose one of these values and then we used uh, a random name because we have to use a subject which this is our subject and then this is our verb we also randomly chose a verb from this uh, list of verbs next we put and put a name and then we put a name and then we used a preposition which we also chose randomly and then we used an adjective and then we use place, which is our object in this case. I hope this is simple to understand because there's nothing really crazy about this. But let's uh, let's run this. Let me input a name, a random name, which I'll write Sarah. And then suppose my name is Kevin. And I'm inputting a place, which is park. And I'm using an adjective, which is, say, um, what can I say? Cool. This is, this, this is the sentence that comes. Nice Sarah proposed to Kevin above the cool park. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but this is the fun of this program. You can customize it in various ways, and you can practice a lot of your...
Well, you can practice a lot of your string functions here. You can go crazy with this. So this is a good uh, project to revise on string concepts. As always, I will link down all the codes below. So be sure to check that if that's what you're interested in. And thank you.